All right, what's up, everybody? Let's have a look at a high score run. 493 million on the forest, no, ancient forest altar with the new timekeeper cookie, the cog, and rogue fort as the relay. Now, we can get higher scores with other relays, but rogue fort got a buff recently, so why not try him out on this map with timekeeper? And they're both going to look a okay cool with their steampunk esque costumes on so we're going to be using the spooky bear the mirror of malice and the saber as our treasures feel free to change these out if you do not have them uh, but if you do i think these are the best treasures to choose for this particular map other maps might change uh, but for this map this seems to be a really good set of treasures uh, so as for hints and tips really for this there's not too much to say um obviously with timekeeper it might need a bit of practice just to get the mini skills right uh, i still didn't quite get them quite right this was pretty much my first try uh, on this map with the timekeeper cookie and rogue fort uh, but i have played this map with rogue fort before so i kind of understand the layout but obviously not quite used to that mini skill right there uh, of timekeepers however it all paid off in the end i'm pretty happy with 493 gonna try and boost that up to 500 uh, but we'll find out later about that uh, so there is a little trick at the end that you can do but i forgot to do it on this video uh, i tried it on another uh, run that i didn't uh, obviously upload uh, but i failed but the, it's definitely doable and i'll explain that when we get there Overall uh, bonus time, you want to follow the pink bears at the, at the beginning and then follow all the rainbow bears for maximum point gain. Uh, with Timekeeper Cookie, we're looking at a hun no, 390 million plus. Um, I think probably around 395 is doable. I'm not too sure if we can get to 400 just yet with uh, timekeeper alone but maybe maybe if you have like an exceptional somehow blessed rng run uh, maybe you can do uh, but i've not reached that yet i'm about like eight million off i think i want to say uh here i did a bit of a whoopsie with the uh, mini skill right there missed some bears which and the big bears really fill the um what's that called the spooky bear up quickly quicker than any other uh, bear. I think rainbow bears also fill it up quickly, but I know that the big bears fill it up super quickly. There, I should have gone down and destroyed as many of those as possible. If you do miss, uh, like, the jump, uh, you do always get a bit of invincibility with the, both the big, cost, the big costume, the big skill, and the little skill. So don't be scared to run along the the floor a little bit during that invincibility and jump up whenever you can obviously don't leave it too long but uh, overall it is definitely a possibility to not panic it is very easy to panic if you miss a platform and you're like oh and you're trying to jump all these times but you're missing it every time so just run along for like a second or so plan where you're going to jump up and try and get there and if possible you know if you fall you fall it's not the end of the world but, you know, uh, if you're on practice, just restarting it. It's not, it's not really an issue. All right, so here, what you want to be doing is you do not want to jump. You want to run along the bottom. And then just before that platform, you want to double jump. And you can actually get that last uh, mini skill of um, Timekeeper out. And I think you can get to like 295, maybe 296 uh, with Timekeeper on uh, its own. So here we are with Rogue Fort. And carrying on, Rogue Fort, nothing special to say. We're not, we're just not gonna hit. That as with every run, we're just not gonna hit. Uh, so just follow the jellies. Luckily, we don't have too many paths like we did in the breakout mode, so we're just gonna follow it through. Obviously, trying to collect as many jellies as possible, especially those tasty, tasty big bear jellies to get the maximum point gain from the uh, spooky bear treasure which i really still don't know the name of i should learn it uh with rogue fort the only thing i'm going to suggest is if possible always remember to try and collect the rainbow bear jellies and there are some during this glide which i didn't realize i didn't quite see them right there i missed a few but yeah two four nine three that is not bad at all i'm going to try and boost that up to like 500 if possible but 493 i'm pretty happy with that timekeeper and rogue four and timekeeper's not yet maxed affection so yeah all right until next time bye bye